So, um, I would like to introduce the new cube wizard feature. It allows you to create a Keras cubes and dimension in a very quick and simple way. So, you just uh, go to the cube wizard at the bottom of the left navigation bar. This opens a new screen. At the moment, uh, the only type uh, of file that we support is Excel, but in the future it will be a variety of uh, text file sources, but also other sources like um, SQL tables, um, Power BI tables and so on. But for the moment, in the preview, it's just Excel. So here I can choose now um, an, an Excel file. A typical single value column flattened table. So here we can see this is a HubSpot export. Um, you can see now D light D and uh, closed one reason, one reason, last modified date and so on. What you can do here now as a user, you type in your your cube name. If you want to create a cube, it will be also it's also possible to create just a dimension, but let's say you want to do the entire thing. And then you just select um, the fields that you want to use in your cube. So let's say we're not interested in these ones, but the close date is important for us. That is the date column for our cube. So we can just select here the column. And we have to give this um, a name. So with the granularity, I can choose now either day or month. I can import the time date as is on the particular date, or I can say add this up uh, on a monthly basis. So let's say we want to do this for budgeting purposes, typically done on a monthly basis. This is better. So this will then group the data and do an additive import um, by month and will generate automatically the time dimension with all the relevant details. So um, the, uh, the CubeWizard has automatically identified first date and last date. If you want to create longer periods, we can do this here. Let's say we want to go to, to 2022. And then we can specify our dimension. So you have to first specify the dimension. And let's say we want to um, go on with a dimension for the deal name. So we make that a dimension. And we want the value, which is here. And then we also want to have the uh, the person, the salesperson, this is uh, the deal owner, is another dimension. Deal owner two. And within the deal owner, um, I want to have the team as a as a additional hierarchy. So I'm using here attribute for the deal owner. And for the deal, I also want to use the deal stage as a hierarchy. So this is an attribute for the deal. And this is it. So now we just create, create, click on create cube. You can see now our two dimensions. We can see the time period. And this will now do everything completely automatically. So with just a few mouse clicks, I'm able to create the carries dimensions and the cube. And this cube can then, at the moment, be um, additional data can be imported using the current import functionalities like like bulk upload. But you can also use um, any ETL tool as, it is, as this is just a relational table. So we see now this was also pretty quick. So this entire file was now imported. So we can see our new dimension. So I had two, the deal name. Let's see what the dimension looks like. So this was done correctly. We have the deal name here and the deal stage. We can also have a look now and see what the hierarchy looks like. Make this the other way around. So now we can see all the one deals, the hierarchy and the in communication, obviously on all the pages. We have the other dimension here for the owner. Same thing with the two uh, columns. So we have three salespeople and they're part of some uh, team. And then finally the cube itself. So we created this cube HubSpot. We see we have the three dimensions. And let's have a look at the data. So I want to see this now by deal owner and the rows.
by the date, let's say in the columns, and the deal name in the filter. And now we see the data here. We've got the three salespeople. We have the the time dimension, and we can obviously structure this in whatever way you want, and then also immediately enter data back in the Aquarius front ends in Power BI or Excel. So just a quick overview of CubeWizard. Um, please let us know if you have any questions, feedback, and try it out.